Good morning, Afka, and welcome to another edition of the DNN. I'm Chad. And I'm Emily, and now to headlines. Good morning, Apopka. Today is Thursday, March 28, 2002. Today in history, in 1939, Adolf Hitler denounced Germany's non-aggression pact with Poland. And in 1969, Dwight Eisenhower, the 34th President of the United States, passed away. And in 1979, the nuclear power station at Three Mile Island, Pennsylvania, suffered a meltdown in the core of one of its reactors. And in the headlines, at least 20 people were killed and more than 170 injured Wednesday when a suicide bomber attacked a hotel in Netanya, Israel, as the Jewish observance of Passover began. An Israeli spokesman called the terror attack a Passover massacre and said the government would use all necessary measures to stop more attacks. Grammy-winning singer Lyle Lovett was in good condition Wednesday after being trampled by a bull, and doctors spent three hours repairing a fracture to his right leg. <laughs> U.S. citizens would be the targets of terrorist attacks in four Italian cities this weekend. The U.S. Embassy in Rome warned Wednesday. Milton Berle, the cigar-smoking vaudevillain who eagerly embraced a new medium and became Mr. Television, died at age 93. British comedian and actor Dudley Moore has died at age 66 at his home in the United States after a long illness. Well, that's been all for headlines. I'm Amanda. And I'm Heather. And now back to Maine. Attention juniors, this is regarding registration for next year. How do students spell success in today's job market? Internships. The Executive Internship Program provides the opportunity for talented and motivated students to reach beyond the walls of the traditional classroom to experience a unique learning opportunity in a professional work setting. Students not only gain valuable work experience, they also earn three hours of college credit through VCC. Uh, if you would like to take an opportunity in joining this, you need to see Mrs. Miller. Uh, she will be speaking in periods 4th and 5th on April 2nd in the auditorium. Students can sign up and stay hear her for either period. And you must have a 3.0 GPA. SGA applications will be accepted until up until 3rd period on Monday, April 1st, 2002. Thank you, and now to Jessica. Prom tickets go on sale April 1st. Buy your ticket between April 1st and 9th to have your name entered to win one of five free tuxedo rentals. Tickets on sale at both lunches in the back commons. Tickets are $50 each and name engravings are $5 per name. Make checks payable to Apopka High School. And now back to Maine. There will be a meeting Monday for boys, freshmen, JV, and varsity basketball players. You should bring all practice gear with you to the meeting. Uh, that's been it for this edition of the DNA. I'm Chad. And I'm Emily. Bye. This is Sports Center. Are the Blue Daughters having their opponents in double? home runs will Zach Greinke hit this season? How exciting this season going to get. And don't forget the Sunday conversation with Daniel Collins. This is SportsCenter. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Sports Center. I'm Miles Summers. The Blue Darters are well on their way to Legends Field if they keep up their good play. They're 21 and 0 as of March 28th. They are ranked first in the state and third in the nation according to the national polls. Wednesday night they beat Dr. Phillips 4 to 1 with hits by Michael Taylor, Tom King, Brian and Adam Thompson, Zach Granke, Brad Taytai, and many others had hits due to their all-out offensive attack. Kyle Patrick pitched a three-hitter complete game with six strikeouts. Zach Granke in his first at bat Wednesday night. Back, 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 gone. It's a home run, his eighth on the season. It's a two-run dinger. Sweet, sassy, molassy. The Darters play Monday night. And now stay tuned for the Sunday Conversation with Daniel Collins. Athlete of the Week, Daniel Collins, second baseman for the Blue Darters. Hi, I'm Daniel Collins and I am Athlete of the Week for this week. Um, I play baseball and I have a hard time managing my time because I'm in the top ten, I'm number four. But I have to like do my work in class and then 
participate in the sports. It's a hard balancing act, but it's fun to do. Thank you. This has been Sports Center with Miles Summers. Stay tuned for more information about Apopka High School baseball. Attention juniors, this is regarding registration for next year. How do st students spell success in today's jobs markets? I-N-T-E-R-N-S-H-I-P-S. -S. The Executive Internship Program provides the opportunity for talented, motivated students to reach beyond the walls of the traditional classroom to experience a unique learning opportunity in a professional work setting. Students not only gain valuable work experience, though, they also earn three hours college credit through VCC, as well as high school elective credit. Ms. Miller from the EIP will be speaking periods four and five on April 2nd in the auditorium. Students may sign up in guidance in to hear her for either for here here either period. A 3.0 GPA is required. Okay, uh, attention French state students. Don't forget to get signatures for the permission slip to states. Bring them to room 320 ASAP, Mrs. Harris. Honors, letters, or bars. If you have earned a 3.6 or higher weighted grade point average for two out of three nine weeks grading periods, you can apply for an honors letter or bar. Applications must be completed and turned in no later than Monday, April 8, 2002. All applications can be picked up and dropped off in front of the office or in the guidance office. See Ms. Soto in the Science Room 217 for more details. Applications will be available March 25th. Okay, all those interested in ninth grade tutoring. Tutoring will be provided beginning on Monday, November 26th. Tutoring sessions will be canceled if attendance is poor. These sessions are available to first-time ninth graders who are in danger of failing so that we may give them our undivided attention. Our goal is to help every student achieve a 2.0 grade point average. And now to Zach the and Eric. Campbell. All cheerleaders, listen up. Any freshman, sophomore, or junior interested in trying out for a cheerleading the next year needs to attend a mandatory meeting being held Tuesday, April 9th, 2002. The meeting will be in the multi-purpose room on the freshman campus at 215. You must attend the meeting to try out. If you can't make the meeting for a legitimate reason, please see Coach Bridgen's Coach Bridges, the day before the meeting. Also, there will be final yearbook sale the week of April 8th through 12th on both the main campus and the ninth grade center during both lunch shifts. The cost is $60, and there is a limited number of yearbooks remaining. First come, first serve. Also, don't forget to come support the Blue Daughter baseball team. We got a game tonight at 7.30 against Boone, Wednesday at West Orange at 7, and Friday, 7.30 against Leesburg. There will also be a student safe meeting today in room 2 at 2.15. Now back to Maine. Uh, oh, uh. There will be an emergency blood drive on Tuesday, April 2nd here at Apopka High School. The supply of the blood at Central Florida Blood Bank is dangerously low. If you are 17 or over, please sign up to donate. Make your appointment during each either lunch shift in the back comments. Uh, applications for SGA for the next school year are due to Miss Albertson in room 321 by fifth period on Wednesday, March 27, 2002. No late applications will be accepted. Thank you. There will be a meeting Monday for boys, freshmen, and varsity basketball players. You should bring all practice gear with you to the meeting. Coach Jenkins. And that's been all for the DNN. Uh, we hope to see you at the baseball game tonight against Boone. And later. See you later. It's a bright, sunny afternoon. And what a beautiful day for a ball game.
game. I memorized every player's name. There was Babe Ruth hitting home runs. That's the truth. He was number one. Between first and second, there ain't no sharing. Breaking Ruth's record team, Hank Aaron. The Bambino wound up 714 round trippers in a glorious career. A record that stood until 1974 when hammering Hank Aaron became baseball's home run king. Said I was sitting in the classroom. Club members, don't forget to give Miss Harris your apparent permission slip form to take to Relay for Life. Also, don't forget to give Holly and Miss Harris all fundraising money Friday at the Relay event. If you have earned a 3.6 or higher weighted GPA for two out of the third nine weeks, you can apply for an honors letter or bar. Applications must be completed and turned in no later than Monday, April 8, 2002. All applications can be picked up and dropped off in the front office or in the guidance office. See Miss Soto in Science Room 217 for more details. Applications will be available March 25th. Now back to me. There will be a final yearbook sale the week of April 8th through the 12th on both the main campus and 9th grade center during both launch shifts. The cost is $60 and there are a limited number of yearbooks remaining, which will be sold on a first come first serve basis. Attention all returning girls soccer players and students interested in playing soccer next year. There will be a meeting April 10th next Wednesday right after school in Portable 1 on the 9th grade center. See Coach Matthews for questions. Attention French State team, don't forget to turn in all permission slip forms and monies to Mrs. Harris ASAP. Monday after school we will rehearse. Congratulations to the girls water polo team for beating Lake Howell 7-2. Amanda Herzog, Kate Lumberg, and Sarah Metzler each scored two, and Megan Bullard scored one. Congratulations to the boys team as well for beating them 10-8. Brett Loving scored seven, while Chris Bidell scored two. Three, sorry. This has been another fabulous edition of the DNN. Honestly, have a great day. Bye. Bye. When I think back on these times And the dreams we left behind I'll be glad cause I was blessed to get To have you in my life When I look back on these days I look and see your face You were right there for me and I'm in this year's musical Kiss Me Kate and I think you should come see it because uh, you'll be able to see all the various um, talents that we have at this school with all the kids and uh, it's just going to be a cool show so I think you should come see it.
All right, guys, come out and see Kiss Me Kate. It's a great show. It's upbeat and funny, and Tucker's in it. I'm in it. She's in it. We're in it. It's a good show. Hey. Check it out. <laughs> I enjoy being in the musical because of all the dancing. And this year we have a lot of really cool, fresh choreography, so you can come out. It's going to be great. I enjoy, I enjoy the musical because I get to watch these hot girls dance. My name is Grant Wills and I play Fred. And my name is Heather Thomas and I play Kate. And you should come see the musical this year, Kiss Me Kate, because it's going to be fun. It's going to have lots of cool music and dancing. And, and I'm in it. Yes, and she's <laughs> in it. And that's a good enough reason to come see it right there. So, do you want to go ahead and kiss me now, Kate? Come on. <laughs> I have a mini eye! I have a mini eye! Okay, the girls' water polo team ended their season last night with a 10-2 loss to Dr. Phillips. The most valuable player goes to Christine Mixon, the goalie, with a heart-stopping 10 saves. She also scored a goal from halfway down the pool. Megan Bullard also scored. They finished their season with a record of 11-6, their first winning season in three years they've played. They will probably be ranked fifth out of 11 in Orange County teams in the Metro. The boys' water polo team beat Metro Powerhouse Dr. Phillips 12-11 to in a tight game with Brett Loving scoring six and Chris Vidal firing in five. Chris Hogan also scored one. Goalie Chris Campbell also performed admirably. Their season record is 9-7. and seven. Their Metro record is 6-4. and four. The first winning season out of the two that they've They'll be ranked either 4th or 5th in the Orange County Metro, depending on Boone's record. If you see these guys in the hallway and the girls, please congratulate them on having a great season. Yeah. Attention, French State team. Don't forget to turn in all permission slip forms and money to Ms. Harris ASAP. Monday after school, we will rehearse. All right, and now to the cast of Kiss Me Kate. Hey, guys, what's up? The show starts tonight, runs through Saturday at 7.30, and on Sunday it's at 2.30. Tickets are $7, so get there early so it doesn't sell out. Come see the show. <laughs> representative for SGA and my most memorable moment this year had to have been kaleidoscope because uh, we uh, tried to do a little stomp thing and it didn't really work out the way we wanted to but it was a lot of fun. Hi my name is Josie Pellet. I'm senior representative for SGA. Uh, my most memorable moment is powder. Hi I'm Mary Antonio and I'm Ashley Gill and we're SGA rep. Our most memorable moment would have to be the Easter egg hunt. Hi, my name is Paul Ames, and I'm a senior representative for the SJ. And I'm Stan Hartman, and I'm a sophomore representative. SJ is a lot of fun to be in, and my most memorable moment being in SJ is when I was in charge of the homecoming court, and that was a lot of fun to do. My most memorable experience was when Spirit Leader. I'm Andrew and I'm a historian for SGA, and my most memorable moment was planning the homecoming parade. Hi, my name is Lauren Cobb, and I'm a sophomore representative in SGA, and I'm also in charge of Balloon Store, and my most memorable moment was helping to plan Spirit Week. Hi, my name is Victoria Halbert, and I'm a junior representative in SGA, and my most memorable moment was when we cleaned up the pond in the front of the school. My name is Keith Armstrong, I'm a junior in SGA, and my most memorable moment in SGA was uh, the leadership conference in the Hi, my name is Audrey Wood, I'm a junior representative of SGA. My most memorable moment was being in charge of the junior product club. Hi, my name is Sonny Bowman, I'm also a junior representative of SGA. My most memorable moment is being on the committee for the parade committee. We had so much fun and it ran very smoothly. Hi, I'm Sonia Till, and I'm a senior representative for SGA. This is my second year. And my most memorable moment was probably planning homecoming this year. It turned out really well. I'm Courtney Clay, and I'm also a senior representative. And uh, also my most memorable moment was Hello, I'm Miss Albertson. I'm a sponsor of SGA. 
I believe that the best opportunities in SGA are allow the kids to be leaders and allow the kids to develop their leadership potential. All the things we do in SGA are meant to impact the school and community. And all of our, our projects, such as Spirit Week, Good morning, Apopka High School. I am Ron Chica. Color Guard tryouts will start April the 17th and run through April the 24th. The first day of, of tryouts will be in the 9th grade center band room at 1.30. Be there. Good morning, Apopka, and welcome to this Man Show edition of the DNN. I'm Matt. And I'm Chad, and now to Hot Girls with Headlines. In news today, yesterday, I got a brand new bathing suit. And in other news, in Grozny, Russia, 13 members of the Chechen Special Forces were killed when a lot of things went boom. Things went boom? What does that mean? A woman with 12 people in her head ta 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 testifies for a case where she is the key witness. Lawyers are hoping she will be the right person today. I'm the head person. What? A Rollins College senior was sent to jail for seven years for helping kill a friend last year with heroin. Drugs are really bad. It's funny that you mentioned drugs. A Rollins College senior was sent to jail for seven years for helping kill a friend last year with heroin. See, that's really bad. In the weather, I heard it's going to snow today. I didn't know it snowed in Florida. Not in Florida, in Alaska. It's been a tsunami in Florida. Tsunami? Oh, soon I'll be at the mall today, right after school. Space shuttle astronauts begin their trip back to Earth today. To Earth? Where were they? In the space shuttle! Officer James Howard was arrested last week after coercing a prostitute into doing sexual favors while on the job. Jimmy? Oh, poor Jimmy. And new members of the class of 2003 who are interested in being in senior class council, please see Mrs. Beecham or the front office for applications. There will be a Spanish Honor Society meeting today, immediately after school in Miss Moore's room. 10. Gracias. And now to girls. Please congratulate the Rhythmic Gymnastics team if you see them today. They placed second in the ribbon competition yesterday at the Metro Championship Meet. They placed fourth in the hoop routine and fourth overall in the Metro. Julia Ivan Canina placed fifth in her individual hoop routine. The following are members of the team to congratulate. Michelle Thompson, captain. Keisha Mejias, captain. Jenny Thompson, Vanessa Thomas, Sharonda Manning, Kimberly Beckett, Jessica Richardson, Alicia Richardson, Megan Crossfield, Marisha, Marissa Ainsworth, Ashley Ainsworth, Julie Ivan Kanina, Belly Struminski, Lindsay Wilbur, and Kalila Mercer. Sorry if I mispronounced your names, which I'm probably sure I did. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday, in the main campus auditorium, the AHS Jazz Band will present their annual Evening of Jazz program. We have a very exciting concert lineup. 
Our featured guest artist is Mr. Ray Borden, who is a jazz drummer from New York City. Ray has retired to the Apopka area and is an impressive player, as well as a wonderful gentleman. Mr. Borden will play several selections with the band. Additionally, he and Raymond Corella have a very witty and entertaining duo that they will perform. Other featured soloists include Steel Paxson, Paul Scribner, Hector Sanchez, Kaylee Brody, and Courtney Constantine. Admissions to the concert is $5, but faculty and staff members, along with the guests, will be admitted at no charge. Just identify yourself to the ticket sales as an AHS staff member. The concert begins at 7.30. Hope to see you there. And attention Beta Club members, don't forget the Spring Car Wash is to be held this Saturday, April 20th at Discount Auto Parts from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you, you will receive two points for each car and you must be there a minimum of two hours. If you do not work the fall car, the fall car wash, you must work uh, this one or risk being on probation. And if you're a senior, that means not getting your soul for graduation. And Beta Seniors, if you're not sure about your points, please see Mr. Camp immediately if you are planning to receive a stole. Attention, today is the last day to enter the senior art competition. Uh, you can win great prizes and attend the awards party. See Miss Elliott in room 406 in the Ninth Grade Center today. And National Art Honor Society members, the awards party is Tuesday, April 23rd in room 406 after school. Seniors must be present to receive their graduation cords. And now to a Ziggy Chugging Contest video. It's too close to call. We're going to have to go through the tapes again. Oh, then you show the slow motion. And then we'll say it over motion? again. Go. Okay, so who really won? <laughs> I don't know. What do we say we won? I won. Chris, well, I won the first Hey, let's say it's Felipe, though. And when we're s showing the slow motion, he's obviously got his cup down first. Stop it. All right, sorry about this tef technical difficulties. We're having trouble here. All seniors and juniors who plan to attend prom, make sure that you sign up your favorite song on the request list. In the back comments where prom tickets are being sold. Congratulations to the new art club officers for next year. President Marissa Ainsworth, Vice President Rochelle Mendez, Secretary Diana Miller, Treasurer Renee Jennings, Historian Olivia Vasquez, and PR Megan DeFour. Uh, Rachel Mendez is how you say that first name. The last <laughs> art club meeting is this Monday, the 22nd, after school. Attention junior class council members, there will be a mandatory meeting this Thursday in Ms. Smith's room at 6.30 a.m. Please try your best there. And attention daughter book club members, don't forget that the daughter book club meeting will discuss Chang and Eng and plan for next year has been changed because of an important teacher meeting. The meeting will now place, take place next Tuesday, April 23rd instead of Wednesday, April 24th. And now to more random girls. As you all know, Ziggy died recently, and we're still trying to adapt around here. Uh, we're trying to find a new Ziggy, and so we're holding a chugging contest here today. Alright, we got Felipe. Miles over there. My man Chris. Let's see who can do this. On three. Ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy, oi, oi, oi! Ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Yeah! I don't know. It's too close to call. We're gonna have to go through the tapes again.
What's wrong? That's a hard day at work. I come home I just got home myself. I didn't have time to make a big dinner. What are you talking about? All you do is just sit around here and watch TV and watch the kids play. You're gonna cook me a real meal. Why don't you get up and make it yourself? What'd you say? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. I'm sorry. No, what'd you just say? Nothing. What'd you sorry. say? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Now look at you. Look what you made me do. I'm leaving. It's your fault. Oh my God, Shannon, what happened to you? Nothing, I just ran into the door. You're Excuse lying. Me. No, you're just... Why are you lying? I'm not lying. He did this to me. Mm -hmm. No. Excuse me. I told you to leave him alone. Domestic abuse hotline, how can I help you? Alright, here we are back with the winner of the chugging contest. Oh, check that guy. Man. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Felipe, now that you are the new Ziggy, what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, That's it, it for today. And now to random shots of hot girls. Hi, I'm Reed Nelson, and welcome to an edition of the Apopka Basketball DNN. I'm Kyle Edwards, and now the headlines. Today is Monday, April 22nd, 2002. There are 23 days left until the end of the school year, and only five days until prom. Today in history, in 1989, Nolan Ryan strikes out his 5,000th batter, Ricky Henderson. In 1993, the Holocaust Memorial Museum was dedicated in Washington, D.C. In the headlines, the stretch of railroad track destroyed during the derailment of Amtrak Auto Train 52 reopened early Sunday morning, and the first train passed through since the deadly wreck killed four people and injured more than 100 last week. <coughs> UCF Party rolls to Orlando bars. A year-long crackdown on illegal drink drinking at the University of Central Florida is moving the party off campus, often or to Orlando bars, aggressively marketing themselves to students. Bishop Thomas oh. Brady, who led the Roman Catholic... Diocese of Orlando, in a period of dramatic growth and change, from 1974 to 1989, died Sunday morning at his Altamont Springs home after a long illness. He was 87 years old. As Prime Minister Ariel Sharon declared an end to Israel's three-week invasion of the West Bank to root out terrorists, top Palestinian ministers returning to their offices <coughs> for the first time in weeks. Sunday were greeted by scenes of devastation in government buildings in this de facto capital. And now back to Maine. Attention all National Honor Society members and senior art com competition winners. We will be having our awards party on Tuesday, April 23rd, right after school. Seniors will be giving out awards and cards, so please attend. Thank you. Today is the last day to campaign for SGA and class elections. By tomorrow morning at 7.15, all materials must disappear from the walls, ground, or any other place they were put. Also, please take the staples out of the walls. You staple the papers, you take them out. Elections are Tuesday, April 23rd, 2002, in the back commons by the auditorium. Everyone is registered, so please come vote. 
Also, grad night bus signups are April 22nd to 23rd in the front commons during both lunch shifts. If you are going to grad night, please sign up or you'll be placed on a bus. Also, if you didn't buy a ticket and would like to go, please go to Ms. Beecham's room 606 to put your name on the list. Thank you. And now to video. Attention all National Honor Society members of the class of 2003. Acceptance forms and membership dues are due by 2 p.m. tomorrow, Tuesday, April 23rd, in room 103. There are absolutely no exceptions. Attention all juniors and seniors who have not bought their prom tickets. There are a limited amount of tickets remaining. To ensure yourself a ticket, we suggest that you purchase your ticket today. If there are any tickets left, they will be sold in the front comments on tomorrow. None will be sold after Tuesday. And now to Courtney and Dwayne. Senior class council. There will be a council council meeting this Thursday, April 25th, right after school. Also, all council members must claim their junk immediately and clear it out of Ms. Beecher's room. Team up with Arthritis Foundation and local sponsor Simper Fry Marketing for the first National Arthritis Walk. This is an event for the whole family. Come out and participate in the 5K Walk or just come out with the whole family and have some fun. We look forward to seeing you there. The event takes place on May 4th at 6 p.m. in Avon Park, located in Orlando. For more information, contact Lindsay at the Authorized Foundation at 407-647-0045. And now back to me. That's been all for the basketball edition of the DNN. Have a good day. Come on. Come on. Coronado Springs Resort. Sweet. 
<laughs> yeah. Just gonna go check it out. Yeah. Who is it? Is it Chad? Yeah. It's Chad! Chad! Uh, okay, man. Yeah, you take it easy. See you later. Bye. What's up guys, Popka students, I'm here at Coronado Springs Resort, reporting here at the DNN studio. This is it, Coronado uh, Springs here. Chris and Jericho, go ahead and tell them what it's all about. And uh, we made it here, we found our way, uh, that was our mission, we got it, and uh, we hope to see all of you guys here Saturday night, 8 o'clock. And uh, this has been me and Chain, signing off for the DNN. Good morning Popka, and welcome to this prom preview edition of the DNN, I'm Chad. And I'm Melissa, and that headlines. Good morning, Apopka. Today is April 25th, 2002. Today in, <laughs> Today in history, in 1792, the guillotine was first used in Paris. And in 1859, work began on the Suez Canal, supervised by the French engineer Ferdinand de Lesseps, who designed it. In 1980, a U.S. commando mission to rescue hostages in Iran failed with the loss of eight lives. And in headlines, Roman Catholic cardinals summoned in Vatican City by Pope John Paul II condemned Wednesday the sexual abuse of minors by priests. But they stopped short of protesting a zero-tolerance policy towards priest molesters. Robert Blake never tried to hire two stepmen to kill his wife, contrary to what the men have told prosecutors. An improvised Palestinian military court has sentenced four Palestinians to prison for the assassination last year of Israel's tourism minister. But Israel quickly rejected the actions and demanded extradition. Officials suspect that 38 puppies found in a van in Daytona Beach, Florida may be part of an Ill illegal puppy mill operation. Well, that's been all for headlines. I'm Amanda. And I'm Brent. And now to Maine. Tonight is the night. Apopka plays Evans here at 7 for the Flag Football Championship. Come on out and support your undefeated Lady Daughters as they compete for their fourth straight title. Again, game time is 7 here at Apopka. And today in the weather, it'll be partly cloudy with scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper A's and a chance of rain at 40%. And now to a lot of other people. Attention National Art Honor Society members. Today the awards and graduation cards will be given out at the party after school in room 406. Seniors must be present to receive their cards. And now to a video. Atención damas y caballeros. Presento Soluna.
what's up? I'm Chris Nancherico reporting for the DNN, and we were just at the Saluna concert, and these five gentlemen right here were picked to go up on stage. Gentlemen, when they uh, when they pointed at you and you guys got to go up on stage, uh, how did you feel? Felt pretty good. Great. They were hot. Great. Yeah, they were, they were hot. Yeah. They were very hot. I was shaking. Woo! <laughs> 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 reporting for the DNN. I'm here with Saluna. They just performed a concert in an auditorium. Um, how long have you guys been together? Three and a half years, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've been together three and a half years. Um, they went to school together, though. They went to um, we've known music a long yeah. time. Yeah, we've known music. Emrick and I have known each other for way longer than that. But three and a half years, we've As been a group. In the group. Mm -hmm. All right, and who are your uh, musical inspirations? Uh, Aretha Franklin. <laughs> um, we uh, like bands from today. We actually really love In Sync, and we really love Pink, and we really love. Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani, and um, we love In Vogue. Remember yes. them? Oh, yeah. Remember we them? totally look up to In Vogue. <laughs> They're not that old. Remember we them? love to follow in their footsteps. Well, Saluna, thank you for your time, and thank good luck to you guys. Us. Yes, we had such a good time at Papa High School. You guys, you guys, guys were the, the best audience, <laughs> and we can't wait to come back. Yeah. And Ooh, this is... Yeah. This is Chris Sanchergo for the DNN, signing off. There will be a girls' soccer meeting Monday, April 29th, right after school in Portable 1 in Coach Matthews' room. A short meeting about summer camp and six-to-a-side soccer. Today is the last chance to buy your video yearbooks, to, so be sure to get yours today. And now back to Maine. The following are the winners of the Senior Art Competition and other winners of Art Awards this semester. First place in two-dimensional, Dennis Smith. Second place, two-dimensional, Matthew Scott. Third two-dimensional Nicole, Nicole Porbaugh. First place photography Kim Brown. Second place photography Nicole Porbaugh. Third place photography Heather Nicholson. First place 3D Marilee Kilsheimer. From the Winter Park Art Festival, Lauren Watts received a merit award. At the Lockhart Fine Arts Festival this past weekend, Jeff Blackman received first place in the high school division. Good job, guys. And uh, that's been all for the DNN today. And uh, we want to... Tell everybody have a safe and uh, great prom, okay? Take care. See you later.
denied Is it toast To all those who hear me all too Welcome to another edition of DNN Senior Style. I'm your host, Kenny. And I'm Stephanie. And I'm Melissa, and that headlines. Good morning, Apopka, and welcome to another edition of the DNN. It's Crazy O2 Day, and we'd like to thank all the seniors that dressed up today. And Shakira and the Dixie Chicks are the latest artists scheduled to perform at the 2002 VH1 Divas Las Vegas. The singers have been added to a bill that includes previously announced artists Mary J. Blige, Cher, and Celine Dion. Additional performers, presenters, and special guests will be revealed as they are confirmed. VH1's Divas Special raise money for the VH1's Save the Music Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to restoring music programs in America's public schools and raising awareness of the positive impact that music participation has on students. Today at Cape Canaveral, the shuttle Atlantis is aimed to, for a homecoming after completing the most complicated construction job ever attempted on the International Space Station. Good weather is forecasted for the 2.26 p.m. touchdown. Residents in North Brevard and East Orange counties are likely to hear the twin sonic booms. If the shuttle can't land at 2.26 p.m., there's a secondary oppor opportunity at 2.02 p.m. Today in weather, there's a .02 chance of rain in Key West. That's all for headlines, and now to Chris and Captain PP. <laughs> Attention flag football players, if you want to order a t-shirt, you, so you need to see Coach Matthews by the end of the day. And attention all seniors, uh, if you'd like to step by Miss Beecham's room today, uh, you can guess how many O2s are up around the school, and you can try to beat the number of O2s that I have on me, which is now 10,912. And getting bigger. Um, now back to me. Attention any girls interested in dance corps must have their application ready and be at the gym no later than 4 o'clock on the days of tryouts. We will start promptly at 4.15. Do not be late. Also, there will be an art club meeting after school Monday in the art room. And now to a senior video. Wait. 